So hello and welcome to a second tutorial about how to set a password or yeah how to encrypt a serial key that is created with a SKGL library and I will assume that you have watched the previous video about how to create a key so as you can see this is a, a continuing video so you will see basically the same thing but I have changed a bit in the layout etc. So now you can see it's my left um, screen or uh, at the left side of screen I have the key generator itself and uh, we'll talk more about it later and I have at my right side I have the validator or actually the program uh, that will validate the keys that are generated with our key generator and basically this is pretty uh, uh, um, it doesn't take so long time to, to encrypt the password uh, encrypt the key because you only use um, the one property I mean you I'll show it right away so first of all uh, as we can see we have a text box we have a button here so basically what we need to do is to double click on the button here and I will just close this window here and as you can see it's basically the same code that I have included. I have included a serial key configuration. So we have an SKS object, and I also created a create a key object. And basically, what differs is that we actually want we want use the serial key configuration class, as I uh, told you in a previous video. But we will f concentrate on the create a key or SKGL generate class because inside this class we have this ability to encrypt our uh, serial keys so what I'm gonna do is that I will uh, continue with the code here and I will add um, so now I'm using the create a key object so I just type create a key uh, problem is that my form is also called create a key and basically yeah this works so here we see our class oh object excuse me uh, and as you can see we have the same properties do key etc and here we have another feature it, it is secret face face so basically we double click here and then we type uh, our secret password so I'm going to type my and then I a dollar uh, uh, my secret uh, password basically this is our secret password um, and the second thing what I'm uh, what's will be written here is of course the result key which will place in our output and in this case this is a text box so what I'm typing now is text box one dot text equals create a key do key the same thing and we can type 30 days because I mean it doesn't matter in this example uh, and basically uh, before I compile this window I will go to this uh, project at my right hand side uh, and here I will press validate double click here and as you can see it's the same thing but I've included the SKGL validate uh, so, so I'm gonna continue oh sorry was not the point to move this semicolon uh, the point is to continue at this code and we just type SKGL and basically it's the same thing no no validate a key we write validate a key which is our variable in this case and we then go to uh, secret phase so basically we set this to be the same as in this window and uh, in order to get it same I want I will not rewrite this, I will just copy it, so right click and copy uh, and then I just paste it in this uh, form uh, and I will do the same and then we need to uh, as I shown I showed in the previous video we have to have an out uh, input which is basically the text box so I will have a message box here message box .show, dot show and then I will type validate a key dot um, excuse me again I think you have a, a validate key dot um, 
is valid, which is our feature here. Uh, and as I said in previous tutorial, is valid is only checking that the key hasn't been modified. So it's nothing to do with the ex uh, is expired or so. So w what we are writing here is, yeah, we have to enter the text box, which is our input. So text box one dot text. Basically, we are done. Let's see. Uh, oh, we aren't. Uh, validate the key is valid. I think everything is right. To string. Uh, validate. Basically, I think it's something because I've called this form. Oh, oh, lagging. Oh yeah, but to, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this was pretty uh, my mistake. We just typed to string here. It's all, and uh, um, I forgot that the key has to be entered before it is validated. So uh, we will type validate key dot key, uh, and in this case, it would be the text box. So I've uh, I'm, I've said wrong there. So now, as you can see, you are not typing it in as is valid. Uh, you are not typing it to this property. So you are only you are typing it outside the property. So I hope this will be compiled now. Here it is, and I hope this will also be compiled successfully. And yes, it is. So we, now we have two forms basically, and I think I will minimize both these windows. Uh, and as you can see, we have two forms and. Uh, if I generate the key here, oh, and then I just press right click and then copy and then I paste the key here, and uh, I hopefully this be valid. Yeah, and this is valid because we have keep the same configuration in both windows. But if I uh, so now we'll close the whole thing. If I just change one char in uh, this example, so for example, if I add one here, maybe, or uh, maybe if I would add password instead of D, I would write N or something. Uh, uh, sorry again, and then do the same th thing here. I would uh, basically we will see what will happen. So I just create the key. As you can see, the key will be false because the key has been modified, and as you can see, the key won't be valid. Uh, what I mean with mo modified is that something is wrong, something with the configuration is wrong. So in this case, it's a password I've set. Uh, yeah, I've set an incorrect password. It's basically what's what differs between these windows. Uh, and um, basically, this was it. How to generate, and I mean, it's basically following the same structure. You have the serial key configuration file, you have the uh, serial key configuration variable, you have the serial key, uh, skgl.generate class, or in the right example here, you have validate key class. And then you set the password uh, in both of them. And uh, what differs is that you have to type the key here as validate.key, you have to um, define the key, which I do by this code here, and then you just have a message box to validate and text box to generate. And I think this is basically it. You can revise the previous video if you to get in touch with this uh, generation and validation of the keys. Thank you.